Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the probability of a three of a kind. And um, I already made videos on the probability of a pair and a two pair, and you should start there. Uh, but yeah, um, one possibility of what three of a kinds could look like is this. Um, for a period of my life, I was frequently going to Atlantic City or the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. And uh, on one trip, I was just constantly getting um, trips. And uh, trips are three of a kind. And so this lady at the table was like, I'm not going to play anytime you play because you're the trips guy. So yeah, trips is the nickname for three of a kind. So now that we've got three queens laid out, the other two cards have to be different from a queen and different from each other. So this is one possibility of how our trips could be set up, right? Okay, cool. So what is the probability of three of a kind or trips? It is this. The denominator, no surprise. We have 52 total cards, and out of them, we want to choose five. So 52 choose five in the denominator is all the possible five cards we could be dealt out of 52. And in the numerator, 13 choose one here is saying, so you've got ace, two, three, four, all the way to a king. That's 13 of them. And so we need to choose one to make our trips. And so this time, the one is the queen, right? But yeah, that's what this 13 choose one is for. And anything highlighted is choosing a suit. So this four choose three is saying, okay, now that you've chosen your queen, uh, out of four suits, there are three suits that we need to pick because there are three queens, right? So out of four suits, we need to choose three. This is what this four uh, choose three is. And four choose three, just like four choose one, is equal to four. So it's saying that these three queens could have four different looks. So um, uh, that's from the four choose three. So there are four different possibilities of how the, these three queens could be laid out. That's the four choose three here. And again, the 13 choose one is choosing our queen out of the 13 possible from ace through king. And ace I'm ranking is like being one, right? Okay, and, and yeah, okay, you get it, you get it. Now, now since you've used up uh, one of the 13 for your queen here, you don't have 13 uh, to choose the uh, last two cards, right? You have, or the other two cards, the remaining two cards, you have 12 to choose from. And of course, from 12, you want to choose two, right? Like, yeah, 12 choose two here is for your ace and your nine. But of course, they didn't have to be an ace and a nine. They could have been any other two cards. And so 12 choose two calculates all the possibilities of what these uh, other two cards could have been. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool. That's what this 12 choose two does. And then, of course, for these two cards, we need to choose suits for them. And so for this ace, there are four possible suits and we choose one. And for the nine, four possible suits, we choose one. And so like, you know, if we use our formula for n choose k and figured out what each of the things in the numerator are, we multiply them together. We get this numerator in black and the denominator, no surprise. And of course, we want to get a sense of what this fraction is like. So it's roughly one in 47. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, hope you enjoyed this and keep watching.